staff at City Hall gathered outside in the sunshine waiting to pose for a selfie with the council leader Phil Bale, the first of many today. A series of tweets and social media messages would be unveiled by the council, showing workers and councillors in their day-to-day -day roles. Stories would be published explaining some of the exceptional work done by staff, including a street cleanser who found a passport and managed to return it to its owner. There was also a series of surprising statistics about the council revealed across the day. First, though, the trick of getting a selfie with a large number of council workers. Staff in place. Check. Selfie stick ready. Check. Time now just to smile and say cheese. Councillor Bell says today is all about the workers and their relationship with the public. Each year the United Nations marks uh, Public Service Day. It's an opportunity to uh, celebrate and to recognise the contribution of public sector workers uh, uh, right across the world. And uh, here in Cardiff we're making a big splash of that today. Because obviously public service, what council workers do here, that people know core services, but there's so much more that people don't know about, isn't there? Absolutely. We provide hundreds and hundreds of services here in Cardiff. Uh, and I think uh, great cities absolutely rely on great public service. Uh, and in Cardiff, I am very proud of the uh, contribution that organisations right across the city are making uh, to the quality of life of Cardiff. And uh, it's important that we do recognise that. Now, for getting messages out to the public, Twitter's transformed everything, hasn't it? So today, council workers, councillors will be taking selfies. We'll tell us a bit about what that's designed to do. Yes, I know it's uh, quite, quite, quite a fun um, slant on Public Service Day. We just wanted to get our staff involved and engaged uh, and to tell their own stories about what it's like to provide services in Cardiff. And you've been taking one here as well? <laughs> I have, yes, and it was great to see the staff come out as well. So. And you're holding a message as well, get, trying to get that message across? It is. It's, uh, you know, we, um, we really want to work with our staff now to, um, uh, to, to get the message out that public services are really important and uh, that we value public services. And we also want to attract more people in to work in public services in the city. Uh, it's a really important, valuable role that people make. And uh, I think Cardiff's a great city and people are very passionate about the city that work here. What sort of statistics, what sort of facts would you be revealing to people today about Cardiff? Uh, I think there's uh, all sorts of things that will come out on social media. We've got uh, something like uh, 700 services that we provide in Cardiff. Uh, we've got uh, 10, uh, over 13,000 staff, I think, at the council at the moment. Uh, so there's, there's a large number of interesting fa facts that are coming out, but it's actually the, the personal stories that really matter. And I think that's what's uh, quite uh, interesting about this campaign is that we've got uh, staff right across the public uh, sector in Cardiff talking about how they have personally made a difference to, to Cardiff and to the lives of many of its residents. And, of course, many of these stories and pictures will be retweeted. I believe you've got quite a famous retweet about to happen as well. <laughs> well, we were delighted today to get a personal message from Bang Si Moon, who's the uh, Secretary General of the United Nations, uh, just really uh, recognising the contribution that uh, the public service makes to Cardiff. And uh, I think that's a fantastic message of support, and we're delighted to receive it. And a bit of a rare honour for Cardiff. An absolute rare honour, but actually it uh, really showcases the impact that Cardiff's making in so many areas on a world stage. So the United Nations has thanked Cardiff for getting involved in Public Services Day. It seems everyone wanted to be involved, whether it was Peter Andre at St David's Hall, Cardiff's Park Rangers and even the community police officers in the city. It seems just about everybody wanted to get in on the act.